arrive at my subjects very intuitively. Usually something kind of interests me. And it's either a subject or a person, you know? In this case, it was a subject. It was the subject of the French-Moroccan relationship and wondering what is the best angle to talk about that relationship and its complexity. I've been now 15 years almost away from Morocco and I've been in America for 10 years. There's like an amount of post-colonial residue that was always embedded in me that I'm trying to kind of like look at and deconstruct. I don't really have an agenda because it's such a complex situation. I wanted to kind of question it and go back to the high school I went to and meet some teenagers and, you know, hang out with them. My project for this biennial is a sculpture garden on the terrace that hosts two films, a music video of the houses of this fancy neighborhood in Rabat singing about themselves. Oh, I'm a fancy house in Rabat. Oh, Sharini Ambassador. And a 30 minute documentary that mixes reality TV and animation, following the life of teenagers who go to French school in Rabat, Morocco. I went to French school, and there's a full subculture. You know, of French schools, the lycées, which I think is pretty similar probably in other countries that were French colonized. It is a way of talking about French soft power and French-speaking culture in Morocco through the lives of teenagers, and it became about being between adulthood and childhood and being between two cultures at the same time. I like finding these complex subjects that have so many contradictions in them because I feel like they push me to try and create a language that holds that complexity. And so that usually happens with the mixing of different genres. But what holds it together is this character of a donkey, which is me. I thought because I went to the same high school that I should also put myself in there and be vulnerable with them. So I didn't hesitate to interact with them and talk to them, but I replaced myself every time with this 3D donkey that you see sometimes on camera. I've made about five films with installations at this point, which has kind of like become just the form that my practice takes, which is I'm interested in a subject, I make a film about it while drawing sculpture elements. I kind of call them viewing stations. And the forums are inspired by two different ideas. One of them is about coexisting in a space together and power dynamics, which I thought you know, made complete sense with the post-colonial theme. So one of the sculpture has buttons. When you click on a button on one side, it steals the video from whoever was watching it on the other side. And then you start realizing that that's what's going on. The second element is that the viewing stations are inspired by a lot of the villas, of the houses, of the people that I filmed. There's rocks and natural elements, because I was thinking about the use of natural resources and dominating nature, which is a very big part of a colonial history. I feel like all of my work is inspired always by cartoons. Cartoons rely on tropes. So it's universal and you can really quickly communicate something, but I'm interested in using that universal language with the elements that are not tropes, because maybe they're culturally specific and they feel foreign, but it kind of like brings them to a place that anyone can approach them. I'm just I'm really interested in storytelling. At the same time, that doesn't mean that I want to make cinema, you know? I, I, I really, really love the fact that art allows me to kind of like invent my own language around filmmaking and how I show it. Mm -hmm.